Hi there, I'm Sammy Miller, and I'm here with one of the greatest drummers in our music. He's been a mentor and a friend and a teacher, and it's my privilege to introduce the great Jeff Hamilton. Thanks. How you doing, Jeff? Great, Sam. Thank you. And now Jeff's worked with um, such a long list of people in our music, from Benny Carter to Ella Fitzgerald, Oscar Peterson, Ray Brown, Diana Krall, his own trio, uh, Tommy Dorsey's band, Count Basie, am I, am I missing anything? Woody Herman. Woody Herman. So, um, and we're here and we're going to talk about some of the first lessons he ever taught me. And the first thing he ever taught me was, if you have to tense up to play it, don't play it. Right. I learned that from uh, one of my uh, mentors, John Von Olin, the Baron, who was on the Stan Kenton band and Woody Herman's band in 67. And his whole technique was to let the limbs flail. Let, let the limbs flail, let the stick drop on the cymbal, let the stick drop through the drum. Don't stop at the top head, don't stop when you hit the surface of the cymbal. And that, that way the stick gets the sound for you instead of you muscling the stick or tensing up to get the sound. So the primary stroke is to let it, let it fall three times, bounces three times. And that's essentially the ride cymbal beat. You drop it on two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So that's the ride cymbal beat. And we all do that as drummers. We do that at a fast tempo anyway. So this just slows it down to get that bounce, like a bouncing ball if you drop the ball from your head level and let it bounce three times. Here's the first bounce, the, low, the second one's lower, and the third one is down by your knees. And same thing with the stick. So that gives you that nice decrescendo of the dega ding dega ding dega ding And I use three syllables to teach it, uh, open-ended uh, syllables, no consonants, because tink tink ta tink tuck ta tuck spang lang spang lang tends to make it a real tight sound. So I like D-A-Y, capital D-A-Y, G A H D A Y. Day, dag a day, dag a day, dag a day, dag a one, two, a three, four, a one, a day, dag 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 a day. And as long as you can sing your ride cymbal beat and own that beat within yourself, then you can offer it to everyone else you play with. But you have to be comfortable with your own beat and your own cymbal beat before you can offer it to anyone else in the band or the audience to enjoy what you're playing. So if you tighten up to play something, for example, there's a drum fill that, that I like to just kind of think of the Indianapolis 500. I grew up in Indiana, and I, I, we used to go to the time trials, and I'd hear these race cars go by, and meow, then they sounded like it. Now that's like a different sound. But it's like, meow. And I was thinking of this fill with the Clayton Hamilton Orchestra on, on this recording that I needed to get the band's attention, but I didn't want to clobber them. So I just thought of that, meow, ba, ba, da, da, to get their attention. So it was, and everybody thinks that's a double stroke roll. And it's actually a single, but I'm starting relaxed and just kind of throwing the limbs around the drum. So now if I tighten up, it's and it sounds horrible and everybody starts running for the door because they don't want to listen to the drummer. So this way you, you get a nice pleasant sound out of the drums when you let the stick do the work, when you relax and let the sound kind of happen from, from being loose and relaxed with the stick. 